Well, Mark, Ira, guys, congratulations. You are moving forward in the third and final round of this competition. In this round, you're going back to your home forges to battle it out for four days, building an iconic weapon from history. We want you to build this. The Serrated Indian Saber. The Serrated Indian Saber traces its origins back to 18th century India. The deadly weapon features a long curved blade with serrated edges designed to intimidate enemies and penetrate deep into the thick leather armor worn by infantry and cavalry forces of the time. This blade played an important role as the sword used by Indian forces during the bloody 1857 uprising against British rule, known as the Sapoy Mutiny. Without further ado, guys, good luck. We will see you in four days. Good luck, good brother. I'm Ira Housewort from the Western Slope of Colorado. I've been a blacksmith now for over 20 years. When I was eight years old, I developed a bone tumor and it grew real fast and then stopped. It doesn't affect me. My eyes work really well, but that's not really what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to show you what I can do with a piece of hot steel. It's a really lightweight blade, so I think we'll just do solid steel. There's 99 teeth to do, so it's gonna take a little while. I'm worried about the spacing and the angle in which they go in. It's one of my biggest concerns on the entire build. Lots of things can go wrong with the quench, but let's go for it. It's perfectly straight. Let's finish it up. We're gonna use a black walnut for the handle, and then on the top, it's gonna to be capped with a silicon bronze. I wanna wrap the handle with a little bit of copper twisted wire. It looks good. Finish sanding, and then a finish sharpening. I'm nervous, but hopefully it holds up. I think that's it. My name is Mark Smith. I'm from China Spring, Texas. I'm a design engineer for a local bank equipment manufacturer. Season three of Forged in Fire, I started watching it. But about that time, I weighed close to 400 pounds. Forged in Fire was a driver to get more healthy. I lost about 150 pounds from bladesmithing, and life is good. It's taking more time than I anticipated to get the material down to the thinness that I want and then we'll be ready to go and start doing the features of the saber. Fitting the guard, I have to be careful. If I remove too much material off the inside of the guard, there's gonna be big gaps. It's not gonna fit tight. And if it doesn't, I'm probably gonna have to redo the guard. It should be fine. It should be okay. So I'm quenching the blade today. I don't think I can get it any straighter than that. There's no cracks and everything's looking pretty good right now. I dyed the epoxy gold because it looks cool and it's close to the bronze guard. I think it has a nice touch to it. Winning this competition would be like winning the Super Bowl. It's about showing that Forged in Fire has turned my life around and given me the skills to do this. <laughs> Bladesmiths, welcome to the dynamic kill test. Mark, you're up first. You ready for this? Blades ready. All right, Mark, let's talk about your weapon here. Your handle is a little bit on the rounded side, but the saving grace is this flare that you have there. It allowed me to get my hand in here and it's locked in between your guard and your pummel. Good on that. Now, you did pick up one small chip where it cut the bone, but other than that, it'll kill. Thank you. I know your turn, so you ready? I'm ready.
All right, Ira, first up, the slices into this ballistic dummy, thrusting and using the teeth. I can really feel everything on the blade, but what's more important is the wieldability of this weapon. It's so nice and light, and I can control every move. Overall, sir, your Indian serrated saber, you will kill. All right, gentlemen, welcome to our dynamic strength test, sticking with our sheet metal theme, our sheet metal chop and bag slice. So Mark, you're up first. You ready? She's got this, but I might need a hug. <laughs> Mark right off, your blade is still in the shape it came in. Felt good cutting. It's a little on the forward heavy side. I would have seen that balance just a little bit further back, but it didn't affect the cuts at all. So good job. Thank you. Ready to play, Ira? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I am. So Ira, first off, the shape and scale of this is really beautiful. The way it just flows from one point to the other, the taper, really, really nice. You took one chip in the blade right here. But other than that, man, this is still, I'm not going to run my finger down this blade. It's uh, still sharp. Well done. Thank you. Well, gentlemen, in the first two rounds of this competition, you both proved your worth by making knives out of sheet metal. And in this final round, you both knocked it out of the park with the most intricate blades I've seen in a long time. But in this competition, only one of you can take home the title and a check for $10,000. Our judges did agree that today's Forge of Fire champion is... Ira, congratulations. Now, Mark, unfortunately, at this point, I'm going to have to ask you to please step off the Forge floor. It's been a tremendous pleasure. Thank you, sir. Good job, Mark. I'm happy that it came down to such details. I think any other competition, I could have gone home a winner. Well, Ira, congratulations, sir. You are the newest Forge of Fire champion, and you just received a check for $10,000. Congratulations. Just one Forge and Fire. It feels pretty awesome. That's a beautiful example of that weapon. I think you nailed it. Well Thank done. Thank you. The whole experience has been super fun. From the stressful part of building the first knife, playing with the coal iron press, I think that's where the money's going. 